Hello, my name is Lola Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lo Goes Local. So for today's video, I decided to do something a little bit different. I went to the farmer's market this past weekend. First of all, it was A1, there's another one tomorrow. If you're in Lubbock, check it out. It's in downtown. There's also one in like Wolfworth, Wolf, Wolf, I can't say it. But if you're a little bit local, you know what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry, I butchered that. But um, yes, the farmer's market is a very fun experience. One, I woke up super early, because I had a lab that day too. But I was like, I wanna go to the farmer's markets first because I won't have time afterwards. And so I went, I I went to everybody's booth just to see what they had. And there was a guy selling like vegan desserts and, and caramel apples and a lady who makes earrings by hand. Of course, produce. It's not a farmer's market without produce. This lady who makes like beard oils and stuff. Um, this lady who makes like, she like weld stuff. They will stuff it's like it was, it was a couple of them. They like well stuff, uh, like signs and whatnot. They had some really nice signs. I bought one just so you know. It's a really cool one. I'll have to show you guys later because technically it's a gift. Um also, what else did they have? They have plenty of stuff. There's a little, little coffee truck there. There was like this is like some like rice crispy treats and other desserts. I bought a rice crispy treat, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. They're my weakness, but um, yeah. So this one man was selling produce and I bought a watermelon, which I'm halfway done with the watermelon now. I love watermelon. I love watermelon and pineapples. My two faves, I can eat them all day. Eat them whole actually, so. But um, this guy was selling watermelons and all this other produce. I bought a watermelon and I bought some jalapenos. And I was like, Ooh, I want to try making jalapeno poppers. Never done it before, but I was like, let's try it. Because I'm all about trying new things. You should always try new things. Shake it up a bit. Especially now with all of this that's going on, COVID and whatnot. I need something to take my mind off of it, you know? So I bought 10 jalapenos. It was two bucks. So of course, I bought 10 of them. And they were pretty big. Like, you're gonna see how big they are. So, uh, let's watch me make jalapeno poppers. Hello. So, here I am cutting off the tips of the jalapenos. The video playing in the back is something for my history class. It's about FDR, and part of his presidency was pretty interesting. But, anyways, cutting them down the middle, making sure they're kind of even, and then cutting out the good or the seeds and all of that in the middle. Um, I left some of the seeds in there just to, you know, give it a little flavor. And yeah, it took me a while to do all of this. I'm not gonna lie. It took me about like 15, 20 minutes, which isn't a while, but it is kind of a while. Overall, this took me about 45 minutes to like do all of my prepping and all of that because I did wash the jalapenos and stuff. So there's that if you're thinking about time. And then I'm getting into my mixture, which is two blocks of cream cheese. Don't ask where I used to. I used way too much. Two blocks of cream cheese, pepper jack cheese, and Mexican style cheese too. It just it's a great blend. I always enjoy Mexican style cheese. And then I use a little bit of seasoning, like it was like a mixture of seasons, like it's like already mixed up. Um, but yeah. And then I use some type of grill seasoning. But um, yeah, so here's me doing that. But I put like way too much back and I opened the wrong side, so it fell in, so I had to spoon it out. And it was in my hand actually. But um, yeah, life comes at you fast, bro. And I get all that, and then now I'm putting it into the jalapeno. It was kind of, it was kind of tedious 
trying to be very even with it because I didn't want it to be like overflowing because I didn't know how it would cook in the oven. But yeah, um, I didn't really use a recipe for this. Just want to put that out there. So just do whatever feels right. Uh, do it till the ancestors say stop. But um, yeah. Now I'm wrapping them in turkey bacon. I love turkey bacon because there's no fat that drips off of them like regular bacon. So I didn't have to like put them on a, a what is it? A little, a little tray, a little riser. I don't remember what it's called. I'm so sorry. But yeah, now look at them. They're so cute. In their little blankets, all wrapped it up, ready to go in the oven. Oh, but look at them now. They look so good. But they weren't done yet. Like I had to keep going. So I added some Kelly B. Jam. Alrighty, as you can see, I incorporated my Kelly B. Jammin' jam because one, the things are amazing. Two, I just really wanted to use them. I just wanted to try something new. I mean, this whole thing was something new, but I was like, I don't know, let's try it. It actually was tasty to me, not gonna lie to you guys, especially with the raspberry one. It was great. Um, But that is pretty much it for this video. I do have a twinge of bad news there's not going to be a video next friday which is the 23rd because i will be traveling home and i have a lot of stuff to get done next week but it gives me room to give you guys a very immaculate video at the end of the month trust me you're gonna want to see this one because what i have up my sleeve <laughs> But that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow the Instagrams in the description box, of course. Until next time.